it's gonna be a quick video on sport mode on these Hellcats. And I wanna to talk to you guys about what sport mode is truly about and how it differs from track mode. A lot of people love track mode and people sleep on sport mode on uh, just how good it is. So right now we're gonna go right into sport mode and we just go to vent so you can kind of hear it but right now in sport mode the car is pretty aggressive it's fast shifting it is not the fastest shifting like how track mode is so we're gonna jump on the highway and just kind of hear what sport mode is but I would advise using sport mode in a very dry, more open area. I mean, you want the road to be dry. You don't want it to be slick at all because when you're in sport, your traction control is off a lot. So, drifting this car a lot easier when you're in sport mode. You'll drift in a heartbeat. So, you have to be careful with that. But, overall, Sport is a lot of fun. It's pretty aggressive. And it's a little bit less harsh than track. Track, extremely harsh. You can feel the road like you wouldn't believe. And, you know, of course, it's going to be the fastest shifting when you're in track mode. But when you're in sport, things aren't as harsh so just want to get off the highway real fast so I can talk to you a little bit better but in sport mode transmissions in sport paddle shifters are on traction suspension and steering are all in sport so sport all the way down and it is like I said pretty slippery as far as the traction traction is more off when you're in sport. So we're gonna get off and I'll show you some things. I wanted to get my tire pressure adjusted, but it looks like the spot that I usually go to is closed right now. So I'll just deal with what I have. The weather has been throwing off tire pressure for me and for everyone. It's starting to get cool here. So, all right, so now we're gonna go acceleration then you'll hear a downshift
wants you to close even more so. said the aggression is there you don't need to necessarily be in track to have super aggression you can have 
some aggression just in sport mode as is. So we're gonna go pull over and I'll show you and we'll talk a little bit about what the uh, sport mode settings look like. So I'll take my camera off and we'll talk about that. But I always like to make sure when I'm in sport mode, and here's key, here's something key, the ground is super dry. You gotta make sure the ground is dry. You can't be in any wet, slippery um, conditions in sport. Because like I said, that traction is the closest to being off before it's off. So in like track mode, the traction is partially off, but it's closer to being on. And then when you're in street mode, your traction is fully on. So when you get in traction of, of, of street, it's fully on. When you get in traction of track, people think it's the opposite. It's in the middle. And then when you get to sport, it's like close to being off. People think that in track, it's close to being off. No, they want track mode to kind of stay with a little traction for when you're on the track so you don't lose control. But sport is completely an animal, like no help whatsoever. I mean, you got help, but it's, it's, it's a lot off, if that makes sense. So I've said that in videos over my time doing these videos, and hopefully people have picked up on that and people know that. But sport mode is no joke when it comes to that traction. So to explain sport mode in simple terms, it is aggressive, it's fast shifting, but it's not the fastest shifting, and the car will start to uh, get sideways on you real easy. So you gotta make sure you know that, and if you're in a, a climate where the ground is wet, you're gonna have problems. So you gotta make sure you're real careful when you're in sport mode in these cars with this weight. It is just very dangerous to be in sport mode on a wet surface, on a road that is wet. It will get away from you in a heartbeat, so you gotta remember that. Other than that, sport mode is a lot of fun. 
Uh, no matter how you look at it, it's an extremely fun mode to be in. Uh, if you guys like these videos, I can do more. I'll do one in track mode and I'll do one in street mode uh, like I did years ago. And of course I did it with my Daytona 392 back in the day, so. All right, and that is going to do it for this upload. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.